Hello everyone and welcome to Mewish channel. Today we're going to play Zelda 2 Adventures of Link. <coughs> and well, this is my fucking third attempt or something. So I'm just gonna call it like, if I die game over, it's gonna be episodes. If I don't die game over, it's gonna be a complete video. Starting now. But at least it's getting better. Since the first time I played, then I died at the first temple. The first fucking palace. For real. And that's not okay. Not in any aspect. And the second time I died in Death Mountain, of course. Oh my fucking god, what am I doing? I'm not supposed to go here yet. At least want to come Okay, I can't get that one. I don't know if it's a XP bag, P bag, or if it's a magic bag. It's quite hard, hard to tell. I don't know if it, there's any sound effect or anything that's different for the two. But, well, this game is just going through palaces, getting the items in the palaces, get magics and the spells from the townsfolks for completing simple tasks, kind of finding the kid in the labyrinth and finding the medicine for a sick lady, or just finding a mirror, simply. <coughs> then you have the Heart containers and the medic containers to extend as you saw in the beginning here. I picked up a medic container the first thing I did in the run. Normally I don't do it when I... Well, normally, well, it was a long time ago since I played this game, but normally I don't do it since... I mean, what do you need medic for in the start of the game? You have no spells to use it on. And I hate these fucking bubbles, don't fucking kill me, okay? Thank you. I actually died one life the first one I did from the fucking bubbles. And yes, I'm aiming for the attacks first. Since I feel like I'm gonna hit harder, you know. I cannot run around with this stick and kind of just use the eight part of my strength. It's kind of dumb. So kind. Thank you a lot, Bubbles. I'm happy with you today. I'm so proud. Saying hello to some Bubbles. But it com it's, it's coming more Bubbles later in the game. So probably I will rage a lot against them. Because I hate the fucking Bubbles. It's like, even though you see them, at one point you kind of... You're not focusing to 100% or something and then one bubble just comes there in your face and you drop down in the water and you die since you can't swim of course. You're the hero of Hyrule, but you still can't swim. It kinda makes sense, right? You're killing demons, you're killing the skeleton, like undying stuff, but you can't swim. I don't know why. Did no one kind of help him to understand how to swim or teach him. It took kind of many many games for him to learn how to swim. And in some games he still can't swim, in some games he can swim. So it's like, yeah. This is sure one of the games he can't swim in. And there actually, it would be better if I actually hit that round thing. If I hit that, I only lose like a bit of mana, or what do you want to call it, magic, instead of losing 10 experience points. I begin to see 
pattern though. I always level up with the attack just at that same exact space. Even though I went different routes and stuff, I took the Matic Ball this time and it was enemies there, like 30 points worth of experience or something. So yeah, it's quite interesting. Probably because I hit two or something of these, so I lost like 20 experience out of nothing. Fuck you, man. Playing around too much. Kind of jumping and stuff. And I'm not just able to just walk. You can't do that. You gotta jump and stuff. And there I hit him after he hit me. Without any animation. It's pretty cool. Fairies FTV. I love them fairies. How can I? M oh! How can I miss? Fucking shit! Faggot balls of doom. You see, faggot fucking balls of doom. That you then have the palace, you put in a gem and then you get experience points to level up to the next level. The game doesn't care about which level you're leveling up, so you can skip like the levels and stuff. And I missed that again. But you can you can kind of manu manu manipulate it. You get what I mean. Like you can skip certain levels to gain as much experience as possible. Exactly when you're about to turn in the diamond or whatever it is. You see the symbol right to the bottom left. There you have some kind of ruby diamond chisel. And you only turn it in, in the six first houses. The last one has no point to turn in some fucking ruby chisel. Since then you're done getting the trifles, getting the girl, getting all the chisels. Fuck, 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 fuck. This is actually bad. This is really bad. Come on. Yes! Oh! So nice! So, let's see. I'm gonna do this. So, 
I fight? Ah, oh, I did a mistake there. I shouldn't have done that. Fuck! I failed. Well, at least I will skill up two magic levels now. Since I feel for it. Since I already messed up, I can evenly skill up everything. Instead of just doing what I normally do, like skill up attack. And then I go like health or something in the beginning. And then throughout the game I skip kind of health. I only use it kind of like, oh my god, I'm low on half, I need health. Yeah, let's skill up the health one. So I'm just attack two now, I need to actually get that to attack three person. <clears throat> because it's quite irritating to do no damage. I didn't pick up. Nope. I need to pick up shield and it's found. Since I'm not an experienced player on the terms that I'm regular basis playing this every day, I need to actually have the spell shield. Since I haven't played this for a long time, I I kind of want to go with no risks at all. Yo, lady. And this is the funny part. It's an old guy in several cellars. He's standing there, he has nothing. He's just standing there waiting for you to kind of learn your spell. And he will stand there forever. I don't know why. He gets no food, no water. He's just standing there chilling, you know, with the walls. And the lady's always upstairs. I don't know why. Can I go and say hello to him now and then? Maybe, please. The old man actually is nice, so you gotta be good to him. You gotta give him something back for standing in the fucking cellar for his whole, whole damn life. Oh, come on, I don't like this. Jump, 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 jump. Yes, I'm not attacking me. Usually I one shot these ones. That I was finding in the cave with lava and stuff was actually that girl's kind of a treasure or something. And here he is again! Yo, dude! What are you doing in this cellar? Ah, I can jump very high! But I can do that without your spell! You see, I've been practicing jumping for very many years now. Out, kind of since 18, 1987 or something so it's like yeah he's been able to jump for a while now why do I need a spell for it I'm fucking up now but it's okay Look at me, I can fail. Can you fail? Okay, let's fail together. Well, 
this? Okay. If I just kind of survive this cave, it's cool. Ah! What am I doing? I'm like, hey dude, I wanna hug you. Can I get a hug? Oh, you're so kind, Mr. Dragon. That's just so something. I love your hug. Yes. No, no. Oof. And I don't one shot those either. This is scary. I'm so behind in damage. And I'm in the swamp, I'm in the swamp. Da -ba -da -ba -da. And I'm getting hit. Because I suck. Na -na 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 -na. And I want a fairy. Come on, hey fairy. No. Get away, monsters. With you monsters to do. Go, Bagu. And bye bye, Bagu. Thank you for the note you gave me. Run. First off, in this town, I'm gonna find the mirror and I'm gonna give it to that lady there, the purple one. <coughs> and there you have the mirror. Let's go to the purple lady. Gotta be the weather, you know. Up here in Sweden, the weather is kind of rainy and stuff. Ah, oh, not if you're living more up in the country, but I'm living in the middle, so I'm having just rain, no fucking winter at all. I want winter, but I'm not getting any. So just gonna wait out, kind of, to the spring to come and some sun and flowers and stuff. No, you're not getting anything. It's just plain sad outside. It's grey and it's raining and stuff. That's exactly a perfect day for gaming. Or well, which day ain't perfect for gaming. I mean, every day is perfect for gaming. But in particular, it's perfect for retro gaming. Going back and playing some old games. That's a perfect thing to do when it's raining outside. And what doesn't suit better than the Zelda 2 for those who actually played it? Hello, Death Mountain! I've been missing you! Actually getting beaten up by fucking niblets, like bad enemies. And this is one thing actually. I, I don't know how I actually remember this, but the actual path through this fucking death mountain is a fucking huge maze. I mean, it's hard to find as huge mazes as this one. any game at all. Ah, oh, I could do it this time. I was actually scared that I didn't have the mana enough to actually cast a life spell. And since I've been fucking up so much, I actually need to use it. Yo, Mr. Axe Guy. Give me all your experience. I 
I'm actually improving now. I'm actually kind of a bit faster to react and stuff. Thank you, Mr. Blob. That was so fucking awesome. The thing that actually happened here was that the Blob there, he actually did some damage on me that prevented me to take damage for yeah some seconds and those seconds actually did so I killed the axe guy without taking any damage otherwise I would have died there because the axe fucking do do too much damage not this one though it does good damage I mean one square that's What I feel about this. Ooh, jackpot! Fuck trolling me! <sighs> Do I have one life left? Yes. This is fucking ridiculous. So the thing that red X guys can actually throw three in a row. They normally throw one or two, but they can actually go even higher. I didn't die! I was hesitating because I thought I died. What the fuck? Oh well, shield on that. Fuck. The shield was actually helping more than I thought. It's helping out a lot. Thank you for the hammer! So I'm actually completing Wall Death Mountain without the game over, that's quite impressive. I'm used to kind of actually just get around here and then I die first game over and then I need to start over. Actually sometimes I actually died just in front of the hammer and I was like what the fuck and then I need to run the wall shizzle again. What am I doing here? This is not the way to go. Fuck me. 
I'm so stupid. <clears throat> I know it's a pee bag and stuff, but what do you need that for? We come straight for the goal. One moment I thought it bugged, but it didn't. Ooh. Nay! Fuck! Fuck, man. But well, this is actually good. I'm gonna save here. Because now when I start next time I have the hammer, I didn't need to walk the whole way back. And this is actually checkpoint number one. I'm actually gonna take a break now. So thank you for watching and the next video will be up soon. So take care guys and girls and have a nice day. Goodbye.